everything was sounding pretty good when I was welding, but the weld was not turning out how I would have liked it to. I thought I needed to move faster or turn up my amperage because we were welding on a cold piece of metal that was elevated off of the table. Um, so turns out that the liner was actually bad in the gun. I continued to do eight more passes after the first four. I showed Peter the passes because they just didn't look right to me. They looked pretty sooty for welding with 40-43 wire. Um, and he just kept saying that my gun angle was wrong. When he finally came and watched me weld, immediately he knew that the liner was bad because when I struck an arc, the arc would come up from the contact tip instead of dropping down after a second or so. It took a lot longer for it to drop down as you would normally see with the Propulse 220. So I'm going to show you the welds that I had completed, but basically I'm going to fast forward through all my welding processes because they weren't correct. Um, I felt like something was wrong, but I just didn't know what, and I knew we had used the machine for the previous day um, and previously, and everything seemed fine with it. So that's just uh, something you need to take into consideration and recognize when the arc is not dropping. So I'm taking you through the troubleshooting process as I had learned and then you can see the clarity of the welds so much better than when I had uh, first started. Did the other ones look like yeah. that too? What's happening is you have a super long arc, super yeah. long, like the liner is shot or the tip is shot or both. So that and maybe... it's, it, the arc never really comes down to yeah. form that arc cone. Okay. So when we were first welding, you would pull the trigger on the gun and wire would come out and then the arc would come straight from here as a spray. So it was spraying straight from the contact tip. No wire was actually coming down which indicates that our arc length was very long from the workpiece. It was about one inch to three quarters. So that is too long of an arc and that is what causes your burn back or the wire sticking into the tip when the wire is not actually coming out from the contact tip. For the correct way, the wire will come out ignite on the piece and then a spray arc will start to form and that is what it should look like it should come down so you have an obstruction okay. so at that point either your tip is shut or your liner is shut so first line of defense change the tip okay. If you already changed two or three tips and you still have the problem, then you need to look at a liner. But that's, there's an obstruction, there's a clear obstruction here. And I believe, see your drive flow pressure is too low. It's kind of like not feeding right either, not enough. Again, or your liner is so wearing because if this is the gun, I was fighting the liner all week. That's probably why I was a little bit higher on the pressure. So you increased it. Yeah, I have to because yeah. it's not feeding. How nice this works now. You hear the tone, how it barely or not even changes, and how it, how it all comes out real nice without any wrinkles. And that's where your spatter came from. Your arc length, like way off. That arc, way too long. See how that arc is still way too long? Yeah. See how nice and short and crisp that arc cone is? Yeah. So that's kind of what you're looking for. Now when you look at this, penetration on this, a little bit hot, I can move faster or I can lower my settings a little bit. 
Now this is hot, so I'm not gonna weld on this, but I'm gonna weld on this later on. So I'm not, I'm not gonna change settings now, I'm just gonna move faster. And the negative two is a little bit optimistic. I should probably be at like negative 1.5 or so. That's too cold. Yeah. 259. That's it right there, right arc length, right penetration. Yeah. No soot, no BBs, and when you look at it, I bet you some very mild push through. Mm, that looks more than very mild, but that could be because it's already welded on three times, you know? I mean, let me see. Yeah, this is exactly how you want it though. Yeah. There, yeah, see? Very much push through. Perfect. Now you got it. Now it's set up. So that's what a bad liner feels like. So your first line of defense is you change a tip. Because a tip and a liner going out feels the same. Yeah. And if you already changed like two or three tips and it doesn't change any results, and you still feel like you have an obstruction, it's not feeding right, and your wire is a premium wire, now, if you guy has wire, you don't know if it's the liner or if it's the wire. Yeah. So that's why, typically, I don't do sh wire or I try not to. I always see the arc coming out of the wire. Well, what you see is you see the tip, you see wire, and at some point in the middle of the air, it turns from wire into like a spray cone. Correct. And you want to see the spray but cone. But all I was seeing was the spray cone. I wasn't seeing yes. the wire coming you, out. Yes, you need to, so, so the spray cone, no matter, no matter if you see wire or not, your spray cone should never be longer than like 3 16 okay. quarter inch. So if you have a spray cone that is 3 quarter inch long, there's it's an wrong. issue. Okay. Too close and too slow. So you're like Still only, too close? Wow, way too close. You were only half inch away from the material. 3 quarters to 1 inch. That's like almost twice as much. And then too slow and too close. Yeah. And then what I do is, you had your angle like this way right now, what I would do is lean a little bit more into the push. You were kind of coming, you were pushing a little bit, but only pushing that much. I would have pushed a little bit harder. Okay. Like this, that's what it has to look like. See how nice that beat looks now? Yeah. 